In this video, I want to demonstrate using the quick profile from surface command so we can assign the elevations or profile on a 2D element for this building pad from a terrain model. This does not require the terrain model to be active. So what we want to do is I'm going to first open up the profile model of our building pad. I'm going to open this view and when we fit the view, you'll notice that there is no profile on this element yet. So I'm gonna close that view and I want to make sure that I'm not selected on the element so I can get all the correct prompts. So I want to utilize the vertical and I'm gonna use the quick profile from surface command. The quick profile from surface command is going to profile the entire element, not just station ranges. So since I want to include the entire line string of this building pad, I can use the quick profile from surface. So the first prompt is to locate the reference element. I'm going to select the building pad element, then locate the reference surface. So I want to select the terrain model. Once that's selected, then I'm going to reset to get out of the command. Now, when I open up a profile model of my building pad, so we'll reopen this view. And when we fit that view, now you'll see that we have elevations we have our profile grade line that is coming from our surface so i'm going to come in now and select the element and i want to do set as active profile and now the active profile on this geometry is coming from this terrain model that i selected it's not necessarily the active terrain model but it's coming from my point cloud surface so if the point cloud terrain changes then the profile gray line uh, of our horizontal geometry here, the gray line is going to change with it because it is ruled to that terrain. 